Hey everybody, welcome to the channel Golf with James. This is my third year of golf. I'm playing at the Marina 9 at Monarch Bay Golf Club in San Leandro, California. It's a par 30, which means that not all the holes are par 3s. There are, I think, two par 4s that are mixed in. So, great place to learn how to play golf on 9 holes. Took my pitching wedge here to hit the green. And the reason why I'm filming this video is one, I wanted to take a look at some of the things I've been working on with my own swing. But also, I guess I just wanted an opportunity to reflect on finishing up my third year of golf and starting my fourth year of golf. Unfortunately, missed the second putt here, so it's a three putt bogey. And you know, I, I've been really happy with the way that my ball striking, like where it's come. Obviously, it's a little ironic that I'm talking about that as I uh, pull this one hard left. And then on this approach from probably around like 75 yards in, I hit it just a tad fat. And by tad, I mean a lot. So I'm gonna hit out of the bunker here and then two putt, walk away with a double bogey, which is unfortunate. But the ball striking showcases here on hole number three. I have a six iron here. I uh, don't wanna go for the green because I think there's still guys on, on the green and hit this really, really well. So well, in fact, that I roll up just to the lip of the bunker. I don't know, man. And so I have my 56 here for another 60-ish yard shot, maybe. That one gets me in a pretty good position to get my birdie here. But the ball striking has just been keeping me in a lot of rounds. And while I've been working on that ball striking, incrementally, my short game has been getting better too. So that means my putting has been more consistent, especially on the lag putts, but also, I have, I feel like a pretty reliable system now of recovering when my first shot doesn't work out. So here's a good example. Hit my iron a little fat, even though I've been talking about the ball striking. But from this distance, I feel, you know, uh, I could still save my par. That one lands. Best. Just on the front edge of the green, rolls out a little bit, leaves me with about a 15 foot, maybe 20 foot putt here. And I just don't read that one correctly, but I mean, I'm, I'm never mad about a bogey. And you know, that's something that's changed a lot, my perspective on what's the result that I'm not super happy with. And Obviously, the double bogeys I'm not super thrilled with, but they're going to happen in a round here and there. And if I can just walk away with maybe one or two double bogeys around and then limit the rest to bogeys and pars, I'm, I'm more than happy. That's a round that's going to keep me in the low 80s to high 70s. So anyway, here on this par 4, one of the very few par 4s, I hit a driver which ends up in the bunker. And then the shot out of the bunker leaves me a little... Uh, pin high, but to the right of the green. And here's a shot I've been working on. This high, soft lob shot. Gets me over the bunker and puts me within about three feet of the pin. So here's my chance to save the par. And it was tracking all the way and then just at the end just wiggles a little bit left. Um, that's another thing. I, I feel like, yes, the short game has come a long way, but also my attitude about my short game. If I can limit to bogey and sneak away some pars and maybe even a birdie, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how the mentality has changed. Probably too much club. I think my seven iron there went a little bit too long. So I'm just past the flag on the left side of the green. This one slopes down to the right. And pretty good. That's a tap in right there. So good par save. And, you know, it used to always feel like I was 
really fighting during the rounds. But now it just feels like, you know, the course is going to defend itself and I'm going to have opportunities to attack. And it's just about staying patient. And sometimes those opportunities aren't going to present themselves, but that's okay. That's golf. The course is most of the time beating you up anyway. So it's just accepting the punches and being happy about the opportunities that you do get. Another par there, so back-to-back -back pars. Some of the girls were going up and asking, like, how old is Andrew? Because ah, we can find someone like for him. Guy. I'm with my buddy Daniel for today's round. So we're just catching up. Oh, Take my yeah. three hybrid here. On the green. It's a short par four, really. Yeah. Um, but the hybrid gets me on. And I know it says 267 yards, but I feel like that isn't right. It's probably just closer to... Par right on you? 215 yards, maybe. Good putt there. And then clean it up. And so those really short par fours make up for like those I'm longer like par threes <laughs> from a score perspective. Anyway, the handicap is, at the time of this video, I think it's right around eight. And so I was hoping to get down into the sevens, which I'm thankful to report I have. And if I can sneak away by getting into the sixes, I will call it a season. I don't know what that noise was, but putting just off the edge of the green here. And this one is going to find the hole for a birdie. So plus three through nine, if you guys get a chance to check out Marina Nine, it is a great little course. If you see me there, please say hi.